The discovery process scans predefined machines for new and modified accounts and their dependencies. Here, you can create and manage discovery processes, view the details of an existing discovery process, and get a real-time update on the status of the discovery processes that are currently running in the system. Before creating a discovery process for Unix accounts and SSH keys, create the CSV file that contains a list of all the Unix or Linux machine addresses that will be scanned. These addresses can be listed as IP addresses, machine host names, or machine full DNS names. From the CyberArk web portal, click on your organization's authentication method. Log in as a user with permissions to define onboarding rules and run a discovery scan. In the Accounts View page, click Pending and Discovery. You will be promoted to the Pending Accounts list, where you can review discovered accounts and determine which accounts should be onboarded into the vault where they can be managed automatically and securely. To create a new discovery process, click Discovery Management. Click New Unix Discovery. Click Browse, then select the CSV file that lists the Unix accounts. Enter the username of the user running the scan. The system will search the vault for the credentials of this user for each machine in the source list you provided. Note, the user running the scan must either be root or a user with permissions to run relevant commands in the sudoers file. Review our online documentation to see the full list of permissions required to run a Unix scan. Specify a default password for the user running the scan. The system will use the default password if it can't find matching credentials in the vault. Select which CPM will perform the scan. The CPM scanner will only scan machines that it can physically access. To scan for SSH keys and their trust, select Scan SSH Keys. Lastly, indicate the recurring pattern for the scan. For the purpose of this demo, we will perform a one-time scan. Finally, click Done. A success notification displays. The state of the scan is presented here. When a discovery scan is not completed successfully, an error log is created that contains the errors that occurred during the scan. Click Open Discovery Log to review the errors. Once the scan is completed, go to Pending Accounts. Now the list contains 330 pending accounts. For each account, you can see Username Address Suggested target platform, for example, Windows or Unix. Whether the discovered account has any dependencies. Password age in days, referring to when the password was last rotated. And account category, whether the account is privileged or not. Use the filters in the left pane to filter the accounts in the grid. You can filter pending accounts based on specific filters, like system type, our accounts type, or by using keywords. In the final step, select the accounts you want to onboard. You can onboard multiple accounts at the same time if they are onboarded to the same target safe and associated with the same target platform. Select the safe where the account will be stored when it is onboarded to the vault, and select the platform that will be associated with the onboarded account. You can set a default password for all onboarded accounts, or automatically reconcile the password for each account during the onboarding process.
The option to automatically reconcile the password for onboarded accounts is only available for platforms that are configured for account reconciliation. Finally, click Onboard. Go to the Accounts view and verify the new accounts have been onboarded. Discovered accounts filtered by onboarding rules were automatically onboarded, and their password was already reconciled by the password manager. Manually onboarded accounts from the pending list appear here as well. All of these onboarded accounts are now managed by CyberArk. For more information, check out our online resources.